Alright, so I got into Tesla last night to go to practice and uh, saw this. Actually, I saw just the indicator here that said um, that there's low pressure. Got about a mile, just a mile away from the house and um, I flipped over here to the uh, tire thing and I saw this down. It was about 27 at first and then um, as we pulled over and went to go look at it, we saw that it was, uh, it was even lower. And so, you know, I drove home. We actually jumped in the BMW because we had, we were in a hurry. We got home, you know, we found that the car was flat and you can hear that in there. There's a, there's a split somewhere where air is leaking out. So. Uh, called Tesla service and um, it was amazing because I got to uh, practice and we knew there was a problem. Uh, put a thing in the app and they texted me right away and I didn't realize because I was talking to a kid and then they called me to say, hey, are you okay? Do we need to schedule roadside assistance right away? Uh, ended up uh, not doing anything because I wasn't sure about the warranties and all that and it was hard to hear in the gym. Came home, found right, these tires aren't really under warranty, right? Flat tire isn't the thing. Though the tires are new, right? 3,000 miles. So I'm hoping there's some, it can be repaired or there's some recovery from the manufacturer. Uh, these are Continental tires. I went ahead through text and the app scheduled a, a thing or a, a call. They said originally they couldn't come till Wednesday or they could come today and tow it. I don't really want to tow it to a tire shop or to the Tesla because that's just a huge disruption for me. Um, but we scheduled it out. The guy actually called and said uh, this morning that he could come out today, so he should be out here in a few hours, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it can be fixed. All right, so I finished that video, and a few hours I actually saw, or I heard a truck drive up, and I walked outside, and this is what I saw. Now, I didn't shoot any video, but the Tesla guy had showed up, and he had put a jack here. He didn't. He uh, put this down in a specific spot down there. There actually isn't a jack pad that I saw down there, but he had jacked up the car, and you can see that. Uh, the tire had gone more flat. The hubcap was something he just pulled off. But what was amazing to me is that uh, he pulled up in this van, Tesla service van, and actually has all the tire tools in there to dismount and remount the tire. And so what, what actually happened was he pulled off the tire, and uh, you can see right in the middle here, there's actually a little hole, uh, kind of where my little image is. And so he popped that off in the dismounter here, he found the, you know, he drilled it out. He then applied a patch on the inside um, to, to work on it. And, uh, you know, I took a couple shots while I was doing it. There's actually a foam liner in the middle of the tire inside. And so he, he put this back on and mounted it back on the car. Uh, you know, he checked it for leaks with a soap bubble spray and it seemed to work okay. Uh, you know, I actually drove the car a little while after that and it seemed fine, but uh, over the next couple of days, we noticed I was losing a little bit of air here and there. And I called back. They they don't repatch a tire once they've patched it. And they were actually busy. So uh, what, what they told me to do was just call the local service center, which I did. I drove out there and ended up getting the uh, getting the tire replaced. They did credit me what I'd paid for the patch, which was about $80 US. So they took that off the cost of the tire. Uh, you know, they just slipped me into the schedule when I got there one morning and in less than an hour I was out the door and working again. So, uh, I was pretty happy. I wasn't thrilled that, you know, I blew a tire so quickly, but I think, you know, I just ran over something and put a hole in it and, uh, the patch wouldn't work. So, uh, it, it was very cool though, to see the Tesla tire service van come out and, uh, I may use them again because they'll say they'll actually come out and flip uh, summer for winter tires if I want them to do it. So, uh, good service from Tesla, you know, and uh, I think bad luck on my part.